Hawaii Five-O premiered in 1968. It starred Jack Lord as Captain Steve McGarrett. Now his unit kept the Aloha State safe for 12 seasons as they faced a culturally diverse rogues gallery of international gangsters and homegrown hoods. Freeze, freeze. Die Hard 50 fans marked their calendars for the show's long-awaited DVD release back in 2007. So just imagine their disappointment when the season 2 box set was one episode short. I get the message. Let's go. Aloha, welcome to Do You Remember? I am Nostalgic Nick. The episode in question was Bored She Hung Herself broadcasted just one time on January 7th, 1970, and it never aired again. But CBS executives underestimated the power of the internet, and the bootleg copies began surfacing a few years later. Crazy. Today we are discussing that lost episode and attempt to figure out why they're still keeping it from us. CBS has produced thousands of controversial TV shows over the years, so what's so shocking about this one? Our DVD season sets are incomplete, and we'd like to speak to the manager. Before we begin, please hit that thumbs up icon to show support, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new episode. Now, wax down your surfboard and cue the music. Aloha! The incredible Hawaii Five-0 theme song was composed by Morton Stevens, and it's often considered the best TV theme of all time. An updated version was created for the 2010 reboot, but it tested very poorly, and they kept the original. Five-O has become everyday slang for police officers, and it's heard frequently on cop shows and the streets. But the show's title actually refers to Hawaii being the USA's 50th state. Hawaii didn't have a state police force, so the producers invented one. McGarrett was initially supposed to be a house detective for a chain of hotels, but CBS decided to expand the fictional unit's jurisdiction to the entire state. And I will go on record saying anyone but Jack Lord leading the 5-0 unit just wouldn't have worked. But believe it or not, he wasn't the producer's first choice. Some strange folks coming out of the woodwork, Adam. Gregory Peck and Robert Brown were first considered for the role. And it was offered to Richard Boone, the star of Have Gun, Will Travel. Boone passed, but Jack Lord was cast at the very last minute. No, seriously, he read for the part on a Wednesday and was in front of the camera in Hawaii that following Monday. Something's missing. The first season of Hawaii Five-0 was released on DVD in 2007, and the second was released just one year later. However, the word complete did not appear on that box cover, and for good reason. The fine print on the back says, Bored She Hung Herself aired only once and is not included in this set. The episode reportedly did appear on Australian DVDs, and bootleg copies of the original 16mm film prints surfaced online in 2010. Episode Synopsis in the episode's opening act, a young woman named Wanda enters her apartment to discover her hippie boyfriend, Don, hanging from a noose. He frees himself when he sees her walk in, and we find out it's just one of his weird meditation techniques. Wanda confronts Don about his alternative lifestyle as he burns incense and begins chanting. See, Don's a health freak. He doesn't believe in dropping anything unless it's organic. An argument ensues, and Don throws Wanda to the ground before storming off on his motorcycle. A few minutes later, their 13-year-old neighbor, Hank, discovers Wanda's lifeless body hanging from that same noose. The heartbroken Don becomes the prime suspect and considers himself responsible for her death. But one of his friends provides an alibi, and the real killer turns out to be a neighbor who strangled Wanda after she refused his advances. The critical evidence they needed was traces of cashmere under Wanda's fingernails that matched the neighbor's sweater. The Explanation 
Hawaii Five-0 creator Leonard Freeman's widow Rose told fans the gruesome reason that board she hung herself was never rebroadcast. According to Mrs. Freeman, CBS was sued by a victim's parents after a copycat incident. So the network pulled the episode from future syndication as part of that settlement. Joel Berliner played Hank in that episode and he corroborated her story. He further explained that that incident cost him the residual income he would have earned and that he didn't get an explanation for over a decade. Don't try this at home. Autoerotic asphyxiation was not openly discussed on TV back in 1970 and Don's unusual behavior was described as a form of meditation. I've got to find out who's lying and why. But the accidental deaths of in excess frontman Michael Hutchins in 1991 and Kill Bill star David Carradine in 2009 brought the formerly taboo subject out to the open. Is it true? Here at Do You Remember, we never let the facts get in the way of a great story, but our friends at Snopes hold themselves to a different standard. Their researchers couldn't find any official documentation of that copycat death, lawsuits, or settlements, and they consider this story unproven. They also point out that many TV networks have chosen not to rebroadcast episodes after lawsuits, but none have ever been officially banned. What did we miss? If it's any consolation, people who have seen Bored She Hung Herself consider it one of the show's worst episodes. The 45 minutes or so is full of bad hippie stereotypes and characters use a lot of slang that has not aged well. We were afraid they'd turn him into some kind of a dope fiend. Don's writer friend Wilson Boswell gives him an alibi, but they don't even bother to include the actor's name in the show's credits. No one understands what it's like to obsess over TV shows more than we do, and the home DVD market caters to completists who desire to own every episode of their favorite shows. But Bored She Hung Herself is extremely talky and doesn't include a single car chase or shootout. If you're looking for the action scenes that made Hawaii Five-0 famous, this isn't the episode you're looking for. Move along. Trouble on the Hill Hawaii Five-0 was an instant hit in Hawaii and viewership on the mainland picked up during the show's second season. But Rhode Island Senator John O. Pastore singled out Hawaii Five-0 during congressional hearings on TV violence. Well, Jack Lord responded by calling the senator a quote, big fat windbag. And the show received further scrutiny a year later when Baltimore police blamed a paintbrush factory shooting on an episode. This one called, and I want some candy and a gun that shoots. CBS was trying to woo urban audiences when ratings for rural shows like the Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, and Petticoat Junction began declining. And they did not need any bad publicity. With so much at stake, the last thing they needed was a lawsuit. But that was a long time ago. We've seen thousands of brutal on-screen deaths since 1970, and autoerotic asphyxiation has been discussed in countless movies, as well as the subject on a variety of TV shows, from CSI, Law & Order SVU, The X-Files, to even South Park. Most likely you'll end up going the way of David Carradine and Michael Hudgens. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Is CBS still afraid of inspiring more copycats all these years later? The moderator of a Hawaii Five-0 fan page claims to have spoken to a CBS home entertainment executive in 2011. The unnamed executive confirmed that the episode would never see the light of day. Home video and streaming didn't exist in 1970 and would not have been mentioned in the legal settlement. But it's a good bet that any resourceful lawyer could convince a jury that a present day DVD release violates the original agreement. And CBS does not seem interested in taking that risk. Passing the Tiki Torch. Hawaii Five-0 creator Leonard Freeman died in 1974, and Jack Lord served as an uncredited producer for the remainder of the show. He became a permanent resident of Honolulu and remained there until he passed in 1998. Of course, Jack was a popular local figure who was often encouraged to run for public office, 
and generously supported local charities. Sculptor Lynn Weller Liverton created a bust in his honor in 2004, and you can see it for yourself at the Kahala Mall in Honolulu. Oh boy, Hawaii Five-0, the longest running crime series in TV history until Law and & Order in 2002 passed it. The show took mainland viewers on weekly Aloha State adventures for a remarkable 12 seasons. But all good things must come to an end. Magnum P.I. was created to make further use of the show's production facilities, and the show existed in the same TV universe for eight seasons. Jack Lord was invited to make a guest appearance, but he declined. After an unsuccessful 1997 reboot, the new Hawaii Five-0 premiered on September 20, 2010, 42 years to the day from the premiere of the OG series. The new one ran for 10 seasons, too. Sadly, James MacArthur died before he could shoot his scheduled episode reprising his Dano Williams. Too bad. Would have liked to hear Bookum Dano one more time. Bookum Dano. All right, enough of me. Now I want to hear from you. Get in the comments and tell us all things Hawaii Five-0. Your favorite character, the best episode you recall. Mahalo for joining us, and be sure to hit that thumbs up icon on your way out. Subscribe to our channel so you never miss a memory. And from all of us here at Do You Remember, we want to thank you for watching.